thought I'd make a little video and show you what I'm using to work on my hardware projects while I'm not at home. The first thing that I'm using is this P8055 board. This board basically allows me to control 8 digital signals through the USB port. There is a simple command line utility available that lets me set these 8 ports to whatever I like. There's also some inputs and analog inputs and outputs also, which I'm not using currently. The 8 digital outputs from the first board feed into this other board, which is a P8056. This is just a relay board with 8 relays on it, so that I can use these 8 digital lines that I can control from the PC to switch 8 relays and switch on and off whatever signals I like. So I'm currently using just one of them that takes 12 volts from the 12 volt output here and feeds it through to the input on the EZ80 prototype. So I can just go and turn this on and off remotely. I need to be able to turn this on and off because there is the possibility that I, for example, execute some code that powers down the CPU and I wouldn't be able to get it up and running without making an interrupt happen or just power cycling the whole thing. When I go over to my laptop, I can remotely log in to my PC and just execute the script. And you heard the relay click. And as you can see, the relay just turned on. Well, nothing really complicated, it's just, well, a digital signal. But I find it kind of exciting that I can be anywhere in the world and type a command and at home a relay clicks and something gets turned on. But I really like that. I'm probably gonna improve this a little bit over time. For example, I could be using this thing here, which has been lying around for years uh, unused, is this is a Beagle board. It's basically a single board computer, rather like the Raspberry Pi, but this, well, this, these things have existed even before the Raspberry Pi. This one was quite a bit more expensive than the Raspberry Pi, though. But basically, it's the same. You have a computer on, on a board which has uh, USB and Ethernet and everything you need basically and I could use that instead of the PC so that I can save some power. The other thing that I'm working on so that I can code Z80 code wherever I am is this calculator. So but this is just an ordinary calculator. It's the cheapest one that I could find that has a D-pad and a reason reasonably sized display. But I'm not using the actual calculator, I'm just after the case. So what I'm actually doing is this. I opened it and removed all the electronics and I'm just using the rubber keypad and I have found a 128 by 32 OLED display that fits in here perfectly and I'm gonna use that instead of the original display so that I don't need a backlight because OLED shines on its own and I will use the original keys and keypad but I will be replacing the entire electronics inside it and of course put a easy 80 chip in there so that I can have my own programmable calculator based on the easy 80 so that I can code on the easy 80 operating system that I'm working on wherever I am. Also a programmable calculator is very useful on its own. I have not been able to find a recent model that fits my needs in terms of simplicity yet being powerful and all the models that I really like are well, not really available anymore and have other is issues because they are older models they don't have modern display technology which I would really like to have so I'm building my own programmable calculator you may be seeing more on this project in the future maybe. And the last thing is just a cheap USB camera that yeah, points at this thing and so I can also see what's going on remotely and watch the magic smoke escape or whatever. I hope you found this mildly interesting. 
and this allows me to really go on with the project even if I'm traveling around and doing other jobs I will still have time to make things that I can show you. So thanks for watching and goodbye.